All right, this is part one of right triangle trigonometry, and it's going to be the basics, stuff that we've learned in uh, geometry and things like that. So if you're a geometry student watching this, this is good for you because this is going to be an explanation of what goes on when we actually do these trigonometric ratios. Okay, so here we go. When we are dealing with trig ratios, it's important to remember that the triangle that we're talking about looks like this. We're going to have some angles, A, B, C. C is going to be our right angle. Now, in order to make this abundantly clear, I want to make sure that this is, we know this is a big C. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger like that. And when they use these ratios, they're going to always put the little variable across or opposite of the big letter that it goes with. So we have A, B, and C across from A, B, and C. Now, the acronym that we need to remember. SOHCAHTOA. And with SOHCAHTOA, it's telling us the basic trig ratios. So sine A is opposite over hypotenuse. opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, since we're looking at angle A, the opposite is A, and the hypotenuse is little c. Okay? So you see how this works. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so ad adjacent adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we're looking at angle A once again, we're going to go adjacent, which is B, over hypotenuse, which is C. Notice what I did there. I didn't take C, though it is adjacent to A, because C is the hypotenuse. The tangent of A is opposite over adjacent, so opposite over adjacent is going to be opposite of A is A, and adjacent is B. Now, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. They are going to be the opposites of everything that we set up here. And so when we talk about the cosecant of A, cosecant is going to be hypotenuse over opposite. It's the reciprocal of sine. Secant of A is going to be the reciprocal of cosine, so hypotenuse. over adjacent. Okay, we're going to reverse these, so we'll have C over B. And the cotangent is going to be adjacent over opposite is equal to B over A. So you see how these work. Now, Sokotoa tells us the basic ratios, and then we just do the reciprocal for the other ones. Okay? It could be said the same for B. Okay? So now, when we look at a triangle, I'm going to fill in some information here for us, and we've got A, B, and C, and just as I promised, C is going to be our right angle. We're going to fill in some information that we know, and 6. So, the six trig ratios. So, we want, here's what we want. Sine of A, cosine of A, tangent of A, and we want cosecant A, secant of A, and cotangent of A. It's probably a good idea to have that other chart that we just copied down written down that other list because that's going to help us now in order to find this side over here which is little b which i don't know i'm going to have to use a little bit of pythagorean theorem so i'm going to say a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared so i've got six squared plus b squared is equal to 10 squared 36 plus b squared is equal to 100 and we'll subtract 36 from both sides. I'm running into my own work here. So we've got b squared 
is equal to 64. So B is equal to 8. Now, this 6, 8, 10 triangle is one of those ones you need to remember, just like 3, 4, 5. And so now, to clean this up, I'm going to go ahead and erase my work here because we know where we got that from. If you need to see what we just did, go ahead and erase or go ahead and rewind, I'm sorry. So sine of A. Now, again, here's what I'm going to do. Sokotoa. Write out my acronym at the top because that's going to tell me what I want. So sine of A is opposite over hypotenuse. It's 6 over 10 is 3 over 5. I'm reducing here, reducing, 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 okay? Cosine of A, adjacent over hypotenuse, eight over 10 is four over five. Tangent of A is opposite over adjacent, six over eight is three over four. The cosecant is gonna be the reciprocal of sine, so it's gonna be five over three. Secant is gonna be the reciprocal of cosine, so it's gonna be five over four and cotangent is going to be the reciprocal of tangent, which is four over three, okay? So now you see where we get these from, okay? So that's the basics of trig ratios. So you can find the six trig ratios for any acute angle in a right triangle. Thanks for watching.